Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. Danny here, and today I'm talking to you about New Normal. So New Normal is written and drawn by Akito Aihara. This is being published in Owl Comic. This is another one of those digital magazines out there. And this started in December of 2020. It's currently ongoing, and I've only read up to chapter 34, because sadly the Scanlations decided to drop the series and no one's picked it up yet. And it's not officially published in English from what I saw. So that really sucks because it was building up pretty nice. So let's get into it, man. This stars our main character, Hata. He is a high schooler and he lives in the world where the pandemic happened. And when I first saw this manga and it said that there was a pandemic and now everyone has to wear masks, I was thinking, okay, what is this going to be, though? Is it going to be a gimmick series where they take the opportunity to get the pandemic stuff going on because again 2020 uh the official teaser for this was in august i believe with the mangaka's twitter so it's like okay we're right in the beginning of it surprisingly it's much more than just the whole pandemic situation so this actually takes place in 2042 so 22 years after the pandemic started the world has changed and what's a nice touch to it too is our main characters are high schoolers So that means they have no idea what life was before the masks. Of course, based in Japan and what the solution was that the government decided is to border off the cities, some of the countryside uh, from the infected areas. And so now we're just secluded behind these walls. Everyone has to wear masks. Really interesting idea. Also, fun part about it is uh, the technology is different Like, drones are everywhere, they got mask tech, Uh, they have, like, the smartwatches that are just, like, more advanced, basically. So, a couple things here and there. Uh, We meet a character, eventually, towards where I uh, caught up reading to, where she has just a straight-up mechanical arm, um, like, automated taxis. But it's all subtle because it's not meant to focus on that, it's meant to focus on our characters. So, again, our main character, Hata, he's a high schooler, and we first see him with his friends oh gosh i forget what they call it out there in japan uh like not av stuff essentially but like you know um idols and like uh models you know she's wearing like this very sexy outfit but of course the next panel it zooms in on her face and the mask she's wearing is translucent and that's a big like turn on it's like oh my gosh you can almost see her lips and her nose like this is crazy because no one takes the mask off ever Like, even at home, you would swap onto a cloth mask that's pretty loose, or you could just not wear it. But the idea is you're always wearing a mask because you never know when the virus is going to come back. And so, yeah, that's just a whole big shift in perspective with society uh, to the point where they even stop showing old footage and TV involving people without masks it's really drilling into these new generations that hey yeah you can't like it's not cool to not be wearing a mask and then later we meet our other main character natsuki she is the primary love interest for hata i'm very surprised this was slowly turning into like a harem situation which was funny uh but it's really there's like two love rivals um going after the same guy uh the other girl's erica and she's like she's fun and all that but it's it's mostly about natsuki And one faithful day, as Hatsa's walking around the school because he forgot something, he turns over and sees Natsuki drinking water. And then what happens? He sees her face because she took off her mask. And that's a pretty big deal. They both get embarrassed, freak out and stuff. Yeah, the next day, they see each other again. She talks to him, basically wants to have this little secret with him. And so they'll sneak off, go to places where no one's at, Uh, they'll take off their masks and just kind of enjoy life like that. So the slice of life aspect is, oh, let's try to recreate being together without wearing masks. Because as we also find out, Natsuki is a big fan of no masks. Uh, Her parents still had old movies, so she would watch them countless of times, and she just becomes fascinated by people's uh, mouths. and, And then we find out in like a bonus chapter the reason why she was drinking water as she was when she got caught is because she was recreating a scene from one of the movies kind of thing and yeah pretty it's pretty fun series lighthearted, 
And then we hit a turning point where we meet another main character named Sagara. He's an older guy, and he was a kid when the pandemic started. So he's seen all the horrors that happened, and he joined uh, the division. It's like the sanitary division, basically. They get sued up. They do crowd control for protests for anti-maskers, and they actually go outside of the walls they just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what they do. Like, they just do reconnaissance stuff there. Later on, we find out a, a realer reason why they go out there. Uh, but we meet him, and he's this mysterious older guy. The first encounter we get with him, like, outside of work is with Natsuki. She bumps into him because she has to get her bike repaired. He lives in a cycle place, but he just lives there. And then we see him without a mask, and he's smoking cigarettes. And cigarettes are essentially banned now. Like, you have to go outside the wall to find them. And I was at this point where the story starts changing and we actually start developing into something bigger. We start understanding more scope of the world. We're seeing more stuff being involved with like the anti-masker groups. And like there's a bigger story behind of how we got here as a society. It was getting really interesting. Just really surprised of how much depth there was going on. And like there's an actual real story now. When I first found the manga, I saw the cover for Volume 4, and that has cigars. So I thought, okay, this is the main character. And then early on when they were talking about this virus and, like, it was changing things, it was looking more sci-fi with, like, creatures and stuff happening outside the wall. And I was like, okay, I'm on board for this. But no, it's, it's a little more tame than that. Uh, we still have our high schoolers as a main focus but also with Cigar, like they essentially team up and stuff as situations happen. But yeah, this is pretty good, man. And it's totally worth the read. Just unfortunate that there aren't any chapters past 34. I've looked at other sites and yeah, like you'll see chapters past that number. But when I clicked on a chapter I was on, it wasn't even in the same place. The scanlation stopped last year. And from what I can understand, this is a monthly series or so. So there's only like 10 chapters behind from... Uh, the Japanese release. But yeah, once it gets back, once someone picks it up, I am definitely going to be keeping up with this because I'm just now like so invested in the world and what's going on. Like the last chapter, we just met a new character that's going to be part of, let's see, he's not an antagonist. He is actually on our side. And it's like, okay, so we have that idea going on. And then he's hanging out with other people that helped build the wall and do all this stuff from the past so it's like there's a there's just like so much there and it all flows perfectly it doesn't feel like it's in your face too much and that's what you really want man you want it like to be a nice subtle continuous flow and not just overboard you with all this exposition akito does a great job with the writing the art style is pretty solid too as you're limited to just the eyes, pretty much, for the expressions. So it's a main focus for the characters, um, at least for the younger ones, right? Because I, I feel like there is that dynamic with the high schoolers who haven't seen anything outside these walls and the adults that have. You can really see the contrast with their eyes, right? Like, Cigar has, like, normal um, scale of eyes, you know, so he's not really shocked by a lot of things. And then we see, like, Hata, Natsuki, Erika, they have huge eyes, and just the way that they're able to express things. And then, of course, once the mask does come off, it, there's like super detail on the lips, on the nose, because it's like, yeah, this is a big deal. Like, this is where your eyes are going to focus on. It has to be A plus quality when it comes to that. So, yeah, definitely give this a recommendation, guys. Go check it out. Um, even though, unfortunately, it's not current, I think it's still worth the read. And hopefully soon, again, it'll pick back up. And with that, we could go ahead and wrap up here today, guys. What did you think of New Normal? Have you checked it out? Would love to hear your thoughts. You can send us an email, unversepodcast at gmail.com. If you have any other questions or comments as well, and we'll bring those up on future episodes. So thank you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.